a rectangle with one side on the x-axis and one side on the line, x is equal to 2, has its upper left vertex on the graph of y is equal to x squared. So this point here. For what value of x does the area of the rectangle attain its maximum value? So to start this, since we're looking for the area of the rectangle and when it reaches its maximum value, we'll need a function of x that tells us the area of the rectangle. So let's think about the rectangle. Okay, we know that this line here is when x is equal to 2. We know that this point up here is at x comma x squared. And this side of the rectangle is at some value x. So the base of this rectangle is just the difference of these two points from an x value of 2 to an x value of x. So it would be 2 minus x. And the height of this rectangle would just be x squared, since the y value up here is x squared. And down here, this is the x-axis, so y is equal to 0 down here. So the area as a function of x is just the base times the height or 2 minus x times x squared. And if we distribute the x squared, we have minus x to the third plus 2x squared. So we have a cubic function here. And since it has a negative coefficient, it would look something like this. And since we're not dealing with negative values of this area function, then we don't really have to concern ourselves with this back piece here. And to find the maximum value, that's essentially this point here. And what's true about this point is that the tangent line to the graph at this point would have a slope of 0. So in other words, if we just took the derivative of this area function and we set it equal to 0, we can then solve for which x value would give a slope of 0. So you could find this point, and you would also find this point here. And we might need to use the second derivative to figure out if the point's a maximum or a minimum, though it might also be obvious which one of these is the minimum and which one is the maximum. So let's take the derivative of this area function. So the derivative of the area function right here, we just bring the 3 down, so we have minus 3 times x, and we decrease the exponent by 1, so it becomes a squared. And then plus, we'll bring the 2 down, so that we have 4 times x, and we'll decrease the exponent, so that it's now 1. And we're setting the derivative equal to 0, so that we can find which x value gives a maximum value. So we can factor out an x from this, so we have x times minus 3x, plus 4 equals 0. So this equals 0 when x is 0, or when this expression here is equal to 0. And for an x value of 0, if we go back up to the graph, we're dealing with a rectangle that has a point here. And essentially, it'd be a completely flat rectangle. So that area would be 0. Notice if you put in 0 here, you'd be multiplying by 0 on the outside, so the area would be 0. So we can rule this out, since this is going to just give the minimum value on that graph we drew of the cubic function. So the maximum value of our area function will come from this expression here. So we can say that minus 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. Adding 3x to each side, we have 4 is equal to 3x. And then dividing each side by 3, we find that x is equal to 4 thirds. So this is the value of x that the area of the rectangle will attain its maximum value.